Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Tonight's tale, But What If It Isn't, by K.M. Apoc. I rub my eyes, staring at the screen. It's very late. I let out a deep breath. My phone vibrates, and I see the text that my girlfriend sends telling me she's on her way home. I sigh, putting the phone down. I had hoped to have written something by the time she got here. My writing process fails me tonight. Nothing comes to me. No deep, meaningful drama, no tense suspense. Nothing. Random thoughts just swirl through my head. Vampires, zombies, abusive parents, vengeful spirits. Nothing. I take a mental step back. Okay. Forget the specifics. Focus on the overall. What is horror? Death? Fear? The supernatural? Demons? No. What is it? Running my hands through my hair, it clicks suddenly. It's the unknown. But more than that, it is the unexpected. I turn my chair around, and I stare at our bed. A normal, innocuous sleeping surface, with the exception of the small teddy bear that sat atop it. I stare at the bear for a few seconds. Now, in reality, it's just a simple assortment of fabric and stuffing given shape and purpose by manufacturers. But what if it isn't? I continue to stare at the bear for several moments, contemplating what if. I don't know that object's history beyond what my girlfriend has said. How do I know that it's just that, a small plaything? Where did it come from? Who owned it? What has it seen? Uh, shaking my head, I turn away from the bear, still feeling the slightest sense of unease now that I've let my train of thought take hold. I keep glancing at the bear out of the corner of my eye, though. I gaze back at the screen, willing words to come in this silent apartment. Suddenly, I jump as the sound of the floorboards above my head creak. Oh, my upstairs neighbors. But that gnawing doubt strikes again. But what if it isn't? They're never up this late. Is it really them or someone else in their apartment? I tense, swallowing. Have I ever heard them up at this hour? Do I just tune it out? I'm not sure. With growing unease and another glance at the bear, I go to the bedroom and I make sure that the shotgun is loaded. Good. Ready. Just in case. I sit back down at my computer, edgier than before. All of these little everyday things that no one ever notices, no one thinks twice about, could be far more malicious than you think. Seriously, look around you right now. Is everything there that you're used to as innocent as it appears? God, it is late. I need sleep. I jump again as I hear a knock at the door. Good. Girlfriend's home. Forget the story. Eh, it can wait until tomorrow. Automatically, I get out of my chair and go to open the door, just as I do every night. Without thinking, I unlock the deadbolt and start to open the door, glad that it's my girlfriend coming home. As I start to swing the door open, it hits me. But what if it isn't? So stay scary, wildlings. Try not to take things for granted and make the most of your nights.